Aries. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Y'all, my nails are a mess. Like, I got a few of them, three of them that has popped off. I was cleaning out my car, and it was just like breaking off. I have to get them done over. So don't mind the nails. Pay attention to the message, okay? All right, so this is going to be for Aries for the month of October, guys. All right, so if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. There is so much more to come, all right? And these messages are going to be general messages, okay? So they won't resonate with every single Aries. And the messages can go vice versa. So if this is and you feel this energy, this could be your partner, your partner's or your cross-watcher's energy, okay? All right, so Aries. I did a video for you guys yesterday, but it I don't know what happened. It just would not let me upload. Oh, I know what happened. I was clearing the space on my computer, and I messed around and deleted it. Oh, I was very, very upset. Okay, we got a jumper. All right, so maybe you guys feeling like, are feeling like you're at a crossroad, and you need to make some type of decision on something. All right, um, maybe there's a temporary decision. Um or you're going back and forth about a decision that you need to make. But yeah, I see the emperor here, which is you guys' energy. I feel like there's a decision that you need to make, okay? There's a decision that needs to be made. Um, so I feel like, and I said this on the last video, one of the number 222. Some of you guys um, have possibly been seeing the number 222. So there's a need to try to find a balance on a situation. Um, and I'm going to shuffle two times for you guys, okay? So... Let's see. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, um, Aries. What messages are there for Aries or the sign of Aries? Okay, let's shuffle two times. What messages do we have for Aries? All right. All right, Aries, eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. So you could be at a distance from this person or there is some communication. Okay, so it looks like maybe you have blocked communication from somebody. Um, we got the nine of wands. We have the hermit card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but I feel like there is definitely like possibly some communication. Um, you're wanting to communicate with someone. All right, we have the empress card as well as the six of cups so immediately i'm getting mother and children is what i'm getting here and i picked that up on the last reading as well too for a lot of you guys some of you guys are dealing with like a baby mother or a baby father um or a mother you know i don't i know everyone isn't dealing with their mother but I'm just picking up the Empress card is the mother card. Um, and this could be like a baby mother or a baby father. But when I see these two cards together, the Six of Cups and the Empress card, I'm thinking about mother and children. And I got the Four of Cups. So somebody is disappointed. You're disappointed about something. All right. Three of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Whew. All right. So you're feeling burdened okay you're feeling burdened by something or something you want to let go of you are definitely feeling disappointed okay the ace of cups and the four of cups is definitely saying like disappointment not interested not wanting to be bothered um there's just a disappointment here we got the star card maybe some of you guys are dealing with an aquarius but i feel like you were waiting to hear like some good news or or you were hoping to hear something you were waiting on some type of communication from somebody um possibly to hear some good news and then we got um a conversation here okay i'm feeling like some of you guys are at a distance with that five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles someone is left out in the cold financially okay so maybe you're dealing with someone who's having financial issues or you could be having financial issues, okay? I feel like, ooh, 10 of wands and the king of pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy, okay? Something here is like a burden. 
and people around you i feel like you're i feel like this is like energy towards someone else because around you we have the chariot card and the sun card so it's like your people around you are looking at you like you are doing good but i'm just picking up on you may be at a distance okay a cancer could be involved we got the sun card here leo could be involved all right so there is possibly a spying in the family or spying um someone um spying or looking in on on um, a home situation or a relationship and then we got the seven of wands and the seven of swords someone here is taking advantage or you're you're trying to keep someone out that's possibly like a liar or sneaky you're standing your ground against this person all right the high priestess maybe you've been keeping your emotions to yourself about this situation hoping that things will come around here is that two of wands again okay so you're hoping that someone makes um you're hoping that the decision a decision is made you're waiting for someone to make a decision queen of swords libra gemini aquarius energy so there's conversation that you're having with this person um they could be an air sign okay someone is asking for someone to give them some money that's what I'm picking up on. Someone possibly needs you financially or vice versa. Okay. Someone is having a hard time. Definitely. Um, someone is saying that they're tired. They need a break. Or this is you feeling like this something here is tiresome and is weighing you down and bogging you down. And you feel like you possibly need a break from this situation. Oh, I'm picking up on gossip. There's gossiping going on. The Page of Swords and the Three of Cups. Definitely gossiping. There is gossip about this situation that's going on. And then we got the Justice card. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Libra. But I'm picking up on maybe the court system could be involved um, with this Justice card here. But it's like it even could be like a karmic situation. Okay, why is the Justice card here? Because you're standing your ground. You're standing your ground, and you want justice in this situation. Someone is a liar. Someone has been sneaking, being sneaky, and you want justice in the situation. Why is the justice card here? Oh, the three of swords. Could be a divorce, okay? Could be some type of breakup, or there's a need to mend a broken heart, okay? Someone is talking about, okay, I'm picking up on a marriage here some of you guys could be in a marriage or some of you guys this could be a living a live-in arrangement or someone that you've been with or around for a long time um and they're like telling you their problems or you're talking about your problems okay why is the three of swords here oh the nine of cups somebody wants a, somebody possibly wants a divorce we got the six of swords somebody moving on okay somebody moving on knight of pentacles capricorns energy someone is feeling stuck or is afraid to say something which i know normally aries aren't afraid to say anything but i'm picking up we got the lovers card here as well gemini could be involved strength card a leo could be involved um, but I feel like you've been being patient um, and it's like you're afraid to say something here, but someone is definitely wanting to move on. Why is the four of swords here? Maybe someone you want um, uh, to be separated from this person. Why is the four of swords here? Two of cups. So there's a break period in a, a love situation. Okay. I got Taurus here as well. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is the Empress card here? Someone could be pregnant as well too or expecting a child. Why is the Empress card here? Look, we got the Mother and Father card. I'm telling you. for um, Even though this card is the... The Emperor card is the Aries card. We have the Mother and Father card together. Okay. Empress and the Emperor. And the Six of Cups is making me feel like there's children involved. Okay. So, for some of you guys, this is like a um, home life situation. Why is the Six of Cups here? 
maybe you get a call about um, from someone that um, that you have children with. Hangman, Pisces is energy, but it's like you're waiting for someone to make some type of decision. We got the Queen of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's confusion around this situation, and you're waiting for somebody to make a decision. Okay, you're waiting on someone to make a decision here. I want to see how they feel about you, Aries. How does how do they feel about Aries? What are their energy towards Aries? I'm going to shuffle two times. A situation needs to be balanced. And I feel like you guys are, are waiting on someone to make some type of decision. Okay. How do they feel about Aries? Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles kept coming out in you guys' reading that I did um, previously. So some of you guys could be definitely dealing with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We got the Knight of Wands. So there's back and forth energy. Maybe you're tired of some of going back and forth uh, with someone. Maybe someone carries a lot of drama. You tried to tell somebody something. Okay, because we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. You're trying to tell this person something. Maybe about, maybe they party a lot. Or maybe they feel like you party a lot. Or um, the Three of Cups, there could be like partying energy. Or there's three people involved. I feel like they were in some type of conflict with you. And they felt the need that they had to stand their ground towards you. But then I see communication coming in from um, from this person. Some of you guys are about to get communication from somebody that has been at a distance. Or there's a Virgo involved. I feel like you got into some type of disagreement with this person. Maybe this person um, was not being very honest. I feel like the truth is um, has came out. Or they feel the need to um, explain themselves or tell some type of truth. But I do see like there's communication getting ready to come in. With somebody that's possibly been at a distance. Um, they've been holding back something from you something that they've been keeping in the dark um i feel like you've been being patient with this person you love this person here with the lover's card could be a gemini involved um and i do feel like they definitely want to communicate with you maybe to ask you for something material here with this ace of pentacles and I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So the outcome is maybe this is family involved. Maybe this has something to do with family. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So this is definitely like something long-term, a commitment, or a family. Okay? This involves family. But I feel like with this death card here, I feel like you aren't happy. I feel like they aren't happy um, or they don't feel um, like a family, like they're involved. I do see a heart to heart conversation with this person coming in, but they have been keeping something hidden from you. They've been keeping something a secret from you. Or they've been being like a big mystery. In their hopes, I do feel like they want to ask you for some money or they want to ask you for something material or, you know, hoping that you um, offer them some type of something, assistance or some type. Or 
Oh, yeah, there's this all of a sudden there's something ended. So they feel like they've been keeping like they've been hiding things from you and then it's like all of a sudden boom a argument or some type of disagreement occurred someone was not being honest someone wasn't telling the truth um and i feel like you care about this person but you were waiting for them to leave yeah i feel like they're worried about something Something is bothering them, and they're coming to you for assistance is what I'm picking up on. Mine's the Nine of Swords here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. They feel like you cut them off, okay? Yeah, we got the... Um, they feel like you don't want a connection with them. I'm sorry if you guys hear some noise in the background. Sometimes my fridge does that. But I feel like they are disappointed. They don't have a connection with you. Um, and there is some regrets here about a risk that was taken. They took some type of risk. And I feel like they feel like you are going to cut them off or you already cut them off. And now they're worried. Maybe this Ten of Pentacles as the outcome is um, the fact that you might be financially stable. And they aren't, and they are uh, worried, and they are coming to you for some help. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Justice card. All right, we got the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. Ten of Wands. So, someone kept going back and forth, okay? I got the Empress card again and the Knight of Wands. So, someone's like coming in and out of your life. Um, and I feel like you want, I feel like they close the chapter or you decide that you want to close the chapter. And it's like they slowly are trying to come back around because someone does not have some, someone is just like left out in the cold. Um, and this is, they're like going through a real bad situation right now. We got the Queen of Swords and the Six, and the six of Cups. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a... Uh, um, Libra. Oh, somebody's walking away with regrets. Okay. They've been trying to contact you is what I'm getting. They've been trying to contact you to get together. Maybe like to party or hang out. To rekindle, to reconnect. And there's just been some drama. Someone, like I said, someone wasn't being honest. And now they're ready to talk about it. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure if you are. Um, there is a need. They're going to reach out. They're going to be reaching out to you. They've been, they've been keeping their distance, but they're getting ready to rush in towards you. Um, maybe their intuition is telling them that you're still holding some type of grudge. And I feel like you've possibly been waiting for this person to come back around. You know that they were going to come back around. But they need you in some type of way. They need you in some way, shape, or form. Okay. So let's pull a few Oracle Angel cards to see... What messages we get from here? I'm going to shuffle two times for Aries. How do they feel about Aries? Aries in love. How do they feel about Aries? Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, so. Woo, okay. <laughs> yeah. We have, uh, um, Unrequited love, we have religious factors, and we have finances and career. So maybe they feel like the chemistry between you guys aren't the same. All right, you guys aren't on the same page, and they possibly feel like you're zoomed in and focused in on work. Like you're you're busy. Maybe they feel like you don't have time for them.
Yeah, we got the world, we got the nine of swords, and we got, I'm telling you, like, somebody is like, is wanting, needs you in some type of, in some type of way financially. Um, they've tried to close this chapter with you. Oh, goodness. But they are definitely going through something here. Possibly something spiritually. We got the Nine of Swords and the Devil. Okay, so they may need you, um, need some good positive energy from you. Yeah, look, all I see is them asking. Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Right, they've been trying to contact you. They've tried to reach out to you, but maybe you've been closed off. Oh, wow. And they're waiting for you to offer them something or waiting for you to waiting for you to respond. Yep. There's that five of pentacles again. They've been trying to contact you because they need something from you. Okay? They feel left out by you. And I just keep getting like they want to talk to you. They want to hear from you. Like all of a some all of a sudden something something out of the blue has happened. Has happened here. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, energy here with the Hierophant, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and um, I'm getting like, watch out, maybe there's like, look out for family, for some of you guys, this is family, this is family, here's this Empress card again, Two of Swords, maybe you aren't responding to their messages, they want they want some type of stability with you or like to come back together as a family or get together. They want to get together with you. They want you to, um, I'm getting that some of you guys possibly are ignoring someone with this two of swords. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Why is the two of swords here? Yep, somebody has regrets. Somebody's feeling regretful, okay? You, you may love this person, but you're trying to make them regret something that they did from the past. That's the five of cups here. They're having regrets. Definitely. They're having regrets. They're looking back over the situation like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? All right, Aries, that's going to be the message that I have for you guys. If you guys would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is below in the drop box. And till next time, guys, ciao for now.